Welcome fifth graders. My name is Mrs. Aiken and I'm a fifth grade teacher at North Wayne Elementary School. Today we will be studying the earth moves with Mr. Rick Croslin. Ms. Aiken, did you say the earth moves? The earth moves. Wow, I feel the earth move under my feet. That was cool, great introduction. So the lesson today is the earth moves. Now, the earth does move. We don't usually feel the earth move because we're on it. <laughs> but if we get a change in the movement, we certainly feel it. Earthquake, a big truck goes by. But right now, it may be hard for us to feel it, but we are traveling really fast. In fact, there's a couple things in this lesson I want you to try to understand, and they're big things. So I'm not going to be upset if you don't get it the first time around. I've been doing this. I've been going around the sun 61 times, and I'm still just now understanding it. So I don't expect you to get it on your first 10 trips around the sun. So how does the earth move? Let's take a closer look. So the earth moves. One way that the earth moves is it spins like this. It spins, now this is a globe, let's spin it the other way. <laughs> this is a globe that is spinning on an axis right here. And this one has a real one that you can see. But from outer space, duh, you wouldn't see something like this on the Earth. So the axis is an imaginary line that goes from the north through the center of the Earth out the south, North Pole, South Pole. And as it spins, this is the equator. So one thing that the Earth does is that it spins. We have a name for that. What is it called when Rotation. something spins? Rotation. Class? Rotation. 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 Let's see what that looks like. So, can you guys show me what rotation is? Put your finger on top of your head like an imaginary North Pole, and my friend here will tell you what to do. Everybody rotate. Oh, stop. I got to ask you a question. If I'm the sun, when you rotate, what are you going to say to me when you come back around? Ready? Rotate. Happy. Hi. Rotate. Hi. What are you going to say to me? Happy New Year. No, you're killing me. You just saw the sun come up. On the count of three, rotate. One, two, three. Rotate. What are you going to say to me when you come around? Oh, good morning. Just do it again. Ready? Look at me. One, two, three. Rotate. Good morning. You know, that's nice, but I feel kind of sad. What are you going to say to me when the back of your head is pointed towards the sun? Good night. All right, let's try it. One, two, three. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. What about good night and then good morning? The earth rotates 24 hours. So let's go halfway around and say good night and come back around and say good morning. That's one rotation. Ready, set, go. Good night. Good morning. Ah, oh, thank you, sunshine. <laughs> Let's have a seat. Okay, so we know that when the earth spins, when it spins, it rotates on its axis. And for the earth, that's the north and the south pole. So that is one way that the earth moves. Got it? Got it. So we've talked about the earth rotating, spinning, but the earth does something else. The earth also, besides rotating, is going around the sun. sun. It's going around the sun. And so we call that, not rotation, but we call that revolve or revolution. Revolution. We call that revolution. It revolves around the sun. And where a spin was called a day, a revolution, which is an orbit, how long does that take to go around the sun? A year. One year. 
Let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so in the classroom now, we're gonna do a little simulation where the desk is the sun and you are the planets orbiting the sun in a revolution. So let's go ahead and orbit your sun one time. Go ahead and orbit. Now, what do you say when you come around to me? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm one. You're one. Good. Happy New Year. How old are you? Two. Two. In the back. How old are you? Three. Happy New Year. How old are you? Four. Now, you guys keep going until your actual age. How many times have you been around the sun? In real life, how many times? Six. Okay. All right. Freeze. Planets freeze. Okay, but we forgot something. In your place, what is it you say it again? Tell me. The Earth spins too while it's going around. The sun. So show me rotation first. Now you're gonna. You're telling me that the Earth rotates and revolves at the same time. Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Right there. You heard it. Okay. Are you guys ready to try that without getting hurt, crashing into each other, creating new moons, or having cosmic chaos? Are we ready for it? Yes. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Start to rotate, rotate in place. Rotate, rotate. Now rotate and revolve. Oh my goodness is right. Rotate and revolve. Yeah. Be careful. Try to get back one year and then go to your seats if you can make it. Oh my goodness. We're out of control. Three, two, one, freeze. Okay, so we talked about rotation, which is spinning on the axis, and revolution, which is going around the sun. You know, here in Indianapolis, we have a big racing event every year where a car races at the Indianapolis 500. When the car is going around the track, is that rotation or revolution? Rotation. When the car is going around the track? Revolution. Revolution. When the wheels are spinning around the axle, that's? Rotation. Or, let me ask you this. When a baseball player is running around the bases, he is? Rotation. Revolving. All right. When a ice skater is spinning or a ballerina, that is? Rotation. Rotation. So the earth rotates and revolves. But the earth does something else. You know, it, what holds all this together is gravity. gravity. Gravity from what, though? What's the biggest thing in our solar system? It is sun. the sun. So the third thing I want you guys to understand, which is hard to understand, is that the sun is really big. As a matter of fact, if we made a scale drawing, and I am the sun, six feet, the earth would be the size of this cap right here. Go ahead. Whoa, the sun is bright, it's big, and if I am the sun, the earth would be this large compared to the sun. So the gravity of the sun holds the planets in their orbits. Without the gravity of the sun, the planets would not be going in an orbit, they would be leaving the solar system. So it's the sun's strong gravity that holds everything to place. Okay, let's take a step back. So we know about the Earth rotating, and we know about the Earth revolving around the sun, and we know it's the sun's gravity that holds everything together. When you read about this in your book, you'll get a better understanding. But I want to show you something. Watch. This is rotating. But the Earth does not rotate straight up and down like that. The Earth is actually tilted like this. The Earth is actually tilted 23 and a half degrees. This is zero if it was straight up and down, and this is tilted. Let's make a drawing of that so you can better understand that. Check it out. So here is, make this drawing in the back of your worksheet. Here is the Earth, which is a circle, right? But it's actually tilted. So let's put north here. This is an imaginary line that comes down here with south. And then this line right here, anybody know what this line is called? Uh, it's equator. Equator, thank you. So here's the North Pole and the South Pole, and the Earth is rotating like that. Go ahead and make that drawing.
So the earth is spinning. I got two students here that can show you better than I am. Come on in and show me what, how a basketball spins. Go on, come closer. Keep, there you go. Come closer and spin it. Keep spinning it. And you see that's spinning, but theirs is not tilted. Theirs is straight up and down, and mine is tilted. Don't crash into me, dude. The earth rotates at 23 and a half degrees. Watch out for crashing moons. <laughs> Good job. Go ahead and spin that right to the camera. Keep going. Spin it to the camera. Get closer to the camera. And. Okay, so here is the Earth on one part of the solar system. And as it comes all the way around, here's the other part. We're missing the sun in the middle. So, Ms. Aiken, when you want to join us as the sun, you can go ahead and turn that on and come on over here. All right, so let's put the sun in the middle. Right here in the middle. Now. When the sun, let's turn the lights out. Ms. Aikens, let's get in the very middle and shine on this one right here. When she shines on this one, keep spinning, which hemisphere is getting the most direct sunlight, the north or the south? No. South. The south would be having summertime, and what will the north be having? Winter. Winter. You stay right there. Now, keep spinning. The earth rotates all the way around. Ms. Aiken, over here. Now, six months later, which hemisphere is getting... North. 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 North is getting summer, and what is the South getting? Winter. Winter. So here is six months apart in the revolution. Now I'm going to hold this basketball up. Is oh. it, when it's halfway like this, check it out. Shine on me. You see how both the North and the South are getting the same amount? Yeah. So this would either be spring or fall. So this is spring or fall. Show North summer and show South summer. So the seasons, you can shine on me now, on my face. The seasons are because of the tilt of the earth, the rotation of the earth, and as it revolves around, taking 12 months to get around. Let's take a closer look. So we watched a video about what causes seasons. I got three students here that think they can help explain it to you. Go ahead, guys. What's going on? Um, the, the bottom of the earth gets more sunlight than the top, so this is where it, it's hot, and then this part is where it's mostly cold. And then since, it's, since it rotates, the, it switches, so like summer has longer days. And, that, and as the earth moves around and revolves, then sometimes we have the north pointed closer direct to the, to the sun, and sometimes we have the south. Boys, you want to add anything to this? Um, when, like, when it's cold at the bottom. When it's cold at the when bottom. It's cold at the top. And like over here, it's cold at the bottom. Yeah. What, what's going on at the and top? And when it's hot at the top, the it's sun. It's hot at the top. And the sun points down at, at, at when there's some, a little bit. At and the, then it, that's why it's like cold and hot a little bit. Yeah, and so then six months later, when it's hot at the top, it's cold at the bottom. When it's over here, it's hot at the bottom. Because well, the sun is pointing, because the sun is facing this way, and the north, the south is on the bottom, and the, when the north is facing that way, it's cold right there. Absolutely. So, if cold. so, in South Africa, when it's summertime in South Africa, what season are we having? Winter. winter. And when it's winter time in Europe, what does Australia have? Summer. 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 Now, when it gets the other way around, it's spring and fall. Okay, let's make a drawing of what's going on. So on the bottom of your worksheet, make a thing right here and write S-O-L, which stands for the soul or the sun. Make it small. And I also want you to write something like this. At the bottom of this paper, write N-T-S, which stands for not to scale. This is not a scale drawing. Remember I told you the sun is giant? And the planets are small. All right, so here is the sun in the center. And then we're going to make a big orbit. And what is this orbit of, do you think? Anybody? Um, solar system. Solar system. Uh, of the orbit of the solar system. We're going to call that an orbit, O-R-B-I-T, of the Earth. 
And so let's make four Earths. Here's one Earth we'll put right here. This is not to scale. We'll put another Earth right here. We'll put an Earth right here and an Earth right here. Here are four Earths. Okay, here's the tricky part. Watch this. Let's put an imaginary axis on this, tilted this way, and make them tilted all the same way. Because the Earth rotates like that and like that. And then now, this is the hard part, put that imaginary equator in there like we did on the back, ding, 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 ding across. And if you notice, keep the tilt the same in each one of them. So you have the Earth at four different times. Okay, so check this out. If this is the sun over here, this is north, this is south, north, south, north, south, north, south. Who is having summertime here? Which is closer, the north or the south? South. Okay, so we have summer. And if they're having summer, what are they having up here? Winter. Winter. Okay. Over here, let's go six months later. Now who's closest to the sun? Direct rays, summer, and what is the southern hemisphere getting? Winter. Winter. Oh, now this gets interesting. Let's go on around. So if this is winter, down here will be spring, right? What's the opposite of spring? Autumn. Fall or autumn. And over here, if it's winter, this will be spring. And what's the opposite of spring? Fall. And this is the seasons. And why? It has to do with rotation. It has to do with revolution. And more importantly, it has to do with the tilt of the Earth at 23.5 degrees. Let me check out what your drawings look like. Wow, what a lesson. I got some talented kids here. Hit it. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down. I feel my heart start tumbling whenever you are. It's been a great lesson. Today we learned about rotation, revolution, and the seasons. Thank you, Mr. Croslin. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tremble, tumbling down. I feel my heart start to tremble whenever you are around. Oh, baby. You know what? There's only one word for this. Cosmic.